this lab I'm going to show you how to build a simple network using two hosts and two switches. Then we do the basic configuration including the host name and password and also login banner. Then we use the show command to verify our configuration and we save the device configuration at the end. We also apply the IP addresses on the PCs. To configure the IP addresses on the PCs, click on the Windows Start button and choose uh, Control Panel. When you open the Control Panel, if it doesn't show by category, choose Category in the View by Window. Then click on the View Network Status and Tasks and then click on the Change Adopter setting. Choose the correct network interface of the PC and go to Property by right-clicking on it and choose IPv4. Then put the correct IP address here in the boxes. You can find the IP addresses in the first page of the lab. You do the same procedure for the PCB. This is PCA. To verify the PC setting and connectivity, open the command prompt by going to Windows Start button and typing CMD. First, to the IP config all, and if you go to the interface, the network interface of your PC, you see the IP addresses, the MAC address, and all the information uh, that you need. Then ping uh, the other PC, ping PCB. You see that there is a connectivity between the two PCs. To configure the basic switch settings, we open the Terra tab and enter the enabled mode. We are already in enable mode and then we go to configuration mode. Then we name our device by using the command hostname and S1 for this switch. To prevent unwanted DNS lookup, we use the command no IP domain lookup. What it does is basically prevents the switch from attempting to translate incorrectly into commands. Now we enter the local passwords. We use the enable secret command to put the class as our password or enable pass secret. Now we better secure our console connection. To do that, we go to the console line by uh, issuing the command line console zero or line con zero. We use the Cisco as password and we have to make sure to put the login, otherwise it doesn't use that password. Then we exit. A login MOTD or message of the day banner is uh, required as part of the security configuration to warn anyone accessing the switch that unauthorized access will not be tolerated. Now we are going to save the configuration. First we need to exit from the configuration mode and then issue the command copy running config startup config. The running config is the one that you just configured and the startup is the configuration that next time will be loaded when you turn off and turn on uh, the switch. Now we do the show running config to verify what we've done so far. 
so you can see the host name and the enable secret so these are all interfaces on the switch and you can see the banner here and the password we put in on console line the next show command we are going to use is the show version to see the version of the iOS image that we have or iOS file that we have on the device the iOS image is saved on flash The show IP interface brief shows which interfaces are up or down on the devices, or the router or the switch. According to the output here, you have to fill in the table on your lab manual. So far we are done with this lab. I uh, just put Appendix A which shows how to initialize and reload the switch, which I think is very important and you have to know. I encourage you to do it every time you want to start your labs. So you go to the enable mode. On the switches, make sure you do the show flash to see if the VLAN is configured before. If there is a VLAN, there is no VLAN in here, but if there is a VLAN, you see the VLAN.dat file. To remove it, you have to put the command delete VLAN.dat. But because there is no VLAN, obviously, it doesn't delete anything here. Then you need to erase a startup config. So next time you start the switch, it doesn't come up with the pre-configuration. And then issue the command reload. When it asks you to, if you want to save the modification into the configuration, you just answer no. So that's all for this lab. That was the basic configuration of the switch. Thank you.